Let's talk Villa. And if you do enjoy Aston Villa content, Premier League football content, or just think that I have a magnetic personality be sure to leave a like subscribe down below we are way on the road i'm gonna go aim for 5,000 subs come on by the end of the year with aston villa doing their thing in the premier league but we are today gonna be talking about our 3-2 pre-season victory over atletico bill bow we had a couple of dodgy results in pre-season but we are back now firing on all cylinders and there's a lot to break down about this game so we're going to get right into the reaction look at the highlights break it down what I thought of the game uh, and why it was very very exciting to be a Villa fan when we beat them 3-2. So as you can see on the screen here, this is the team that we sent out to start the game. Joe Gauci in goal, Matty Cash at right back, Bagard, very, very good game, at centre back alongside Paul Torres. Luca Dina lined up at left back with Onana and Tielemans as our pivots. Uh, Ramsey and McGinn out wide, uh, respectively left and right mid. Hello, Severus, thanks for introducing yourself, son. And then Bailey and Rogers up front. It was a bit of a, again, a fluid front four, as Aston Villa have been doing this entire pre season that worked very well so let's get in to the highlights and we kick it off here with Tielemans getting the ball Onana with a good switch out wide uh, and then look at this for a ball this again this is what Pau Torres does great ball into Rogers down to Tielemans lovely run by Jacob Ramsey and a fantastic finish from him as well and look at that look on his face <clears throat> he's one of our own and he knows that he's back again here's the replay Tielemans a fantastic ball there's a lot to break down in this though so let's get into it. And first things first, I've been shouting about it in the pretty much entirety of our pre-season. And it is the 4-2-4 that Aston Villa have been playing. You can see our back four there. I think Pau Torres and Luca Dina are just slightly off of screen. But Tielemans and Onana combining nicely and they're nice and close. <coughs> Excuse me, nice and compact in the pivot role. And remember that because I'll come back to that, nice, uh, that, that fact a little bit later. Um, but they're very, very compact. They're very, very close to each other. And they work so well together. I'm really excited to see how they can do in the middle of the park in the Premier League. Uh, they combine nicely here. And then we have our front four. And like I said, our front floor was very, very fluid this game. At the moment, Ramsey has taken up that left mid position. Bailey out on the right. And then McGinn and Rogers up front. And then we move on uh, to here where we've won possession. Pau Torres gets the ball. Again, he's part of that back bank of four. We have the two pivots in midfield. As you can see, Tielemans and Onana in the middle of the field. Literally almost both in the semicircle. And then that front four again. Now, Morgan Rogers is going to make a very, very good and a very, very intelligent move here to draw his defender out. And Ramsey is very, very alert to that. And again... I know a lot, I've seen a lot of people bashing Pau Torres this preseason. Hello, Severus. I've seen a lot of people bashing Pau Torres this preseason, but this is what he's in the team to do. From defence, he can just play that one killer ball that transitions us into a very dangerous attack. And that is what he does here. He sees that Rogers has made that move out of the kind of front four to step in between into a pocket, and he picks him out. That leads to this. Again, elite movement from Rogers. They were literally in a flat bank of four, our attackers. He has dropped a little bit deeper. And as you can see here, his centre-back has jumped. And that's all you want when you're an attacker. If you're trying to create room for your teammates. And he does it later on in the game as well. He's very, very good at this. He has created that space for Jacob Ramsey now. Who is, again, very, very good. Very, very alert to the fact that his centre-back has jumped onto Morgan Rogers. The other centre-back has John McGinn to worry about. And, you know, Ramsey has just absolutely left the fullback that was marking him. He's realised he's out of position. I've got acres of room to run into here. A great layoff from Rogers to Tielemans. And the ball from Tielemans, chef's kiss. He, I really do like him as a player. I think he's really, really good. And this was a very good assist. And we will see it again in slow motion here. Lovely layoff. Lovely ball. He shapes his body up nicely. Hits it with the left. Brilliant. Next highlight here, Luca Dina on the ball. Plays in Jacob Ramsey, who's again being causing chaos for their defence. Lays it back. Anana, nice layoff to Tielemans. Just couldn't quite get the shot away in the way that he would have wanted. But let's break it down. And only really one thing to point out, and that is again, Rogers playing slightly deeper and allowing Ramsey to do those bursting runs forward into the box. And again, you know, he is there. His centre-back's more alert to it this time, but obviously Ramsey has afforded that room because Luca Dina has been the one that's got forward and created that room for him. The, the fullback having to float wide to worry about Luca Dina's crossing ability, which is fantastic, by the way. Uh, and then Rogers being a little bit deeper creates a different option. But Ramsey, again, he was so switched on and alert this game. This was back to the Jacob Ramsey that broke through 
a couple of seasons ago. Absolutely elite forward runs into the box. Reminded me of like a Lampard type player. Fantastic from him. I uh, really, really was impressed with him this this entirety uh, of this game. And then we move on here. Bill Bow with the ball. A nice little bit of interplay there. Uh, ball comes in. And then it's a great save from Joe Gauchi. I've been telling people this guy could be the truth. But there's just one thing I want to point out about that move. And that is just Luca Dina. He's been caught out of position. We did see it happen quite a lot last season. Obviously, he isn't going to be our starting left back this season. That's obviously going to be Ian Matson. But just something to point out. Um, again, look how close Anana and Tielemans are. They're very, very close to each other. They know what each other are doing. Onana's very alert to the fact that Tielemans has had to cover the room that Dina has left and go to the ball. And then you can see, well, you'll see a little bit later on in the clip, he filters his way in towards the penalty spot to try and help with any congestion or any ball bobbling inside of the box. The centre-backs, Powell and Bagard, relatively switched on. I think Bagard knows that defender is there. Ramsey, perhaps, could have been a little bit tighter to the number eight in the middle of the park there. But yeah, it's just really Luca Dina. And then you can see when the ball does come into the box after Joe Gauchi's fantastic save, which wasn't the first one that he made this game, by the way, uh, Onana and Tielemans are two pivots right there in front of our two centre-backs. Um, I really like how those two work together. Really like it. And then next clip, short corner from Bill Bow. Um, another ball back. Decent block by Cash. But then what is he doing there? A terrible header, which just puts us into danger. A great header from the number eight. Comes to the number five. Nothing really that Villa can do about that, apart from maybe Matty Cash should have headed it a bit better. That's a great assist, by the way. Good touch. Good finish. And that is Listen. Matty Cash. What are you doing? Look at the question marks around your head. Why are you using your head? Just boot it or put it out for a corner. Don't head it into literally the most dangerous place on the pitch right now because Bilbao have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players in our box. Luckily, we've been linked with a right back. Video coming very soon, so be sure to stick around for that one. But... What are you doing, Matthew? What are you doing? And then moving on to the next clip, a nice ball by Paul Torres. Luca Dina breaks through. Again, Rogers drops deep. And this is why I said we should sign this guy instead of Jack Grealish. Jaden Philogene. You're going to be my saviour this year. Look at that ball from Rogers. Great layoff. Look at this for composure as well. Has a look across the box. He says, you know what? Doing it myself. Let's break it down. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I like it from this angle as well. Look, one touch safe see you later first things first our pivots again nice and close there Tielemans and Anana. they've seen that Luca Dina is going to be the one getting forward here and they're not busting a gut to get forward they know they've got their defensive cover duties again just another reason why I like them so much and you can see Rogers again look how he's dropped into that pocket of space he has got a solid couple of yards in each direction around him and I really really like him playing up front and just playing if he can play off of like an Ollie Watkins who will just play on the shoulder of the last man. This could be very, very, very tasty. Jaden Philogene, who has come on here occupying that left mid position. And he is very, very alert to the fact that here, actually, I think I've got it in the next uh, highlight here. As you can see, this is when the ball's come into Rogers, who I've highlighted as number two. Again, he's dropped deep. His centre-back, again, knows how dangerous Morgan Rogers is from the last 11 games of the Premier League that he played from the first couple of games of this preseason. I think defenders are aware he is a problem. Um, so he has got sucked into Rogers again, rightfully so. You have to mark that threat. And then because Luca Dina has burst forward, a role that I believe Matson will be able to com like complete very, very capably as well, uh, his fullback has jumped to him. And again, look at the space that it's afforded Jaden. There's no one around him. It's elite level movement off the ball uh, from Rogers and Jaden, and elite level play from Dina to burst forward, draw that. <laughs> this guy has been a nightmare, by the way. Um, draw that full back into him and then play that nice ball into Rogers. And then this is just a lovely bit of skill by the Bill Bow boys. A great one, too. Puts our full backs a little bit out of position. Ball comes in. Great finish. What more, really? Can you say around that? Could, uh, I think it's um, Sing Swinkles that's come on be a little bit more alert? Maybe. But it's a great ball from Anaki Williams. A lovely finish. There's just one thing I'll point out. And that is, again, look, it was a great little bit of skill. Great little one-two from the Bill Bow boys. That kills Jaden and Matt, so they're out of the game now. Uh, Barkley and Dendonka, there's a lot of room in between them. And uh, we wanted to point this out because, obviously, how tight and compact Anana and Tielemans were operating, maybe this is a bit of a weakness. But, again... 
Barkley, I think he's very, very good. Then Donker, I don't particularly rate. The back line of Bagard, who had a very good game, by the way, and Swinkles. Um, I mean, you know, fair enough. They're not incredibly close to each other, but they seem to have their danger marked. Um, again, it's just a fantastic bit of play. Barkley's had to jump. It, it creates a little bit more room, uh, and then it's a fantastic goal, but you can't really moan about it. It was great play. And then the final highlight of the game, and that's Emi Bundia flicking the ball over, by the way. Welcome back. Cameron Archer, and that I've said Cameron Archer's an absolute bulldog in one of my previous videos, and this is what he does. Uh, he absolutely deserves his flowers this season for me after his pre-season performance. He, effort-wise, is always one of the hardest workers on the pitch. I mean, look at this. He's literally got a handful of his shirt. That's a red card, by the way. That's a denying a goal-scoring opportunity. He carries on. Quick look. Great finish. I feel so good for him. I hope he gets his chance this season, especially with uh, Duran's attitude. Good goal. Rounds off. A good win were my final thoughts on this game. I thought it was a very, very good game. I thought we played very, very well. Um, I think there's a couple of standout performers for me, uh, and that's number one, Morgan Rogers, Jaden Philogene Badace, Cameron Archer. Uh, I thought that Tielemans and Onana in that midfield role were absolutely spectacular. Joe Gauchi, and then one that really stood out was Lamar Bagard. There were rumours that we were going to be selling him to Nottingham Forest. We rejected that offer from then, according to Fabrizio Romano. Um, and since then, I think he's become really, really important for us in this preseason. Obviously, there's a talk around Diego Carlos leaving. That seems inevitable at this point. Um, and I think Bagard might be the one to step up. A naturally right-footed centre-back. He can slot in there. He can play at central defensive midfield if we need him to do a job in there in that pivot role. But I thought this game against Atletico Bilbao, who are no slouches, by the way, let's not forget the team that have the likes of the Williams brothers uh, amongst their ranks. And Naki playing today. Obviously, Nico still enjoying his break after winning the Euros with Spain. Um, I thought that Bagard displayed experience beyond his years, a cool head, and a fantastic, uh, a fantastic attribute set for a centre-back. I really, really like him. Uh, he was my main positive from today. I thought he was absolutely spectacular. And the fact that we scored three goals, we won. We beat a Europe like side. You know, they're going to be playing in Europe. I don't know what competition they're in next year, but it's going to be probably Champions League if the Williams brothers had anything to do with it. Um, and not Serena and Vila. So why are there so many good Williams brothers, uh, or sisters rather? Williams families, let's put it that way. Anyway, Will Smith trained the Williams brothers well. Uh, they were really good, but Aston Villa are just slightly better. Until next time, up the villa. Be nice to everyone, and I'll see you very soon.